Welcome back to the Business of Soul Searching. I'm Erin, your host, and I invite you to join me as I travel from city to city, interviewing people from different walks of life that have faced their fear and came out on the other side. Are you ready for this? I thought that if, if I got my body done, the money would come in, you know, I wasn't working at the time, and that men would want to be with me, they would want to stay with me, they would, I would find the right man, I should say, because I, I definitely was getting men at that time when I was 19, it just wasn't the right type of men, right? Hello everyone, this is Erin from the Business of Soul Searching, and I am back. I am here. Um, I'm doing another personal episode. I had so much fun doing a previous episode that I had uh, a few weeks ago, and that was on, you know, stuffing our trauma and, um, you know, what happens when we kind of like bury our trauma and when we explode and when we have a meltdown, you know, and I called it meltdown or you know, makeover. And so if you guys haven't heard that episode, please make sure to check it out. Um, Like I said, I had so much fun kind of just going back through my story and just remembering kind of what I've been through, just being reflective and giving you guys all that good insight and data. So, um, so yeah, make sure you check that out. So this week I am talking about body image and you know, body positivity. And I bring it up because I actually had this this interesting occurrence that happened. So to jump into it, I went to the gynecologist, um, you know, for the first time in a little while recently, just to have a checkup, check in, you know, see what's going on down there, see what's going on with my body, just because, you know, I'm stepping into this wellness space, I want to eat better, you know, the gym's kind of, I'm working the gym out, guys, you know, <laughs> I'm there sometimes, whatever, but wellness in general, holistic wellness is definitely my focus, especially now that I started, you know, this collaborative brand with Beauty La Soul called Master Your Glow. And I want you guys to follow us on Instagram for sure, for sure. And um, and yeah, we're going to be having actually a, a huge um, self-love day party September 29th in Providence. Um, and so, you know, stay tuned. I'll be having little episodes, like micro episodes about that. But anyways, to get back to my appointment. So gynecologist, right? So I'm there. And... I am talking to the woman, we're having kind of our little, you know, check-in, she's asking me questions, whatever, and then she's like, well, oh, you know, what's your weight, because, you know, they do height, weight, they do your blood pressure, whatever, so she's like, what's your weight, I'm like, oh, I haven't weighed myself, I don't have a scale in my house, because we just don't do scales, like, you know what I'm saying, and um, so she's like, well, that's a good thing, but let's, you know, let's hop up on the scale, I'm feeling like, okay, you know, you know, when I was in college, I was like 120s, you know what I mean, I'm 29, so you know, maybe 130s, I'm thinking now, literally got on the scale, her and I looked down at the same time, looked up at each other, and was like 140 pounds, like in my little frame, somehow 140 pounds fits in there, right, so you know, I'm kind of like, okay, she's like, you know, you hide it, or not that you hide it well, but she's like, you carry it well. I'm like, okay, cool. So I kind of just like, don't even try and flip out about it, because I've been very vain um, about body image. You know, I don't really talk to people about this, but I I can be very like specific about the weight that I want to be, the way that I want to look, just like a lot of people I know. And I kind of just stuff it away because I'm at the gynecologist. This isn't really time to have a meltdown about weight, you know, so I stuff it for a second. Put it to the side, finish my appointment, I leave. And then I'm like, did she say 140 pounds? Like, did she say to me, I now weigh 140 pounds? And so, you know, I told a few other people who, not that they wanted to make me feel better, but they kind of put it in perspective of the fact that I'm almost 30, I'm a grown woman, I'm not very short, you know, I'm like 5'6" or whatever, and, you know, I eat Dominican food, I live in South Providence, like, you know, it's like, that. you're gonna gain weight, like, you're a grown woman, you're gonna gain weight, and there's nothing wrong with that, um, 
So really the reflective piece, you know, because I had to stand back from it because as I'm talking to people, I'm like, okay, why am I getting upset about 140 pounds and I feel vain, you know? And then I'm like, well, historically body image has been an issue for me, you know? Um, I know when I was 19, I definitely absolutely hated my body. Like I hated, 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 hated my body. I hated everything about it. I hated the way that I looked. I thought I was too skinny in certain places. I thought I was too big in certain places. My stomach wasn't flat enough. I just did not like myself, period. And my body was definitely one of the main targets of that self-hatred. And, um, you know, it's, it's interesting because in that time period, I wanted to get plastic surgery. And I wanted to get plastic surgery like nobody's business. I wanted to get plastic surgery to get a more appeasing body so that I felt at the moment, I wanted more power. I wanted, I thought that if, if I got my body done, the money would come in, you know, I wasn't working at the time and that men would want to be with me, they would want to stay with me, they would, I would find the right man, I should say, because I, I definitely was getting men at that time when I was 19, it just wasn't the right type of men, right? So, um, it's just interesting when I think of body image and body image issues and, you know, where it can lead you and, you know, where I am now, it's like, I definitely don't want to get my body done. I had a brief kind of freak out almost about this 140 pounds, but with self-confidence from working on myself, I realized that I'm actually happy that I never got plastic surgery. And um, I do want to go on record saying and, and be explicitly clear when I say this, there's if people want to get their body done, like that has nothing to do with me. And I'm not hating on anybody that gets their body done, you know, as long as you do it the, the safest way possible and you get a, a, you know, psychological exam because, you know, I feel like people get their body done. And they think holistically everything's going to change, but your mind doesn't change because your body changes. I mean, your psychological makeup is still your psychological makeup. Like, you know, you still got to get that checked out. And But, you know, my thing is like, I, I just, you know, I, I reflected on that 19-year-old version of myself that wanted to get her body done. And I just was like, I should not be freaking out about 140 pounds. Like I should be happy that I'm healthy and that I can walk and I can talk and I can use all of my limbs and that I have breath in my lungs and that I can breathe clearly and that I can see and taste and smell and hear beautiful music. I should not be worried about nobody's 140 pounds. Like I should be, you know, I should feel blessed that I can sing and that I can play piano and that I have memory, that I have a job, that I have love, that people love on me, that my family loves on me, that, you know, just all of those good things. And and anyways, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you all because I think a lot of people think I'm maybe this girl that, although I am confident, you know, that I have like this body and that I never question it and that's untrue, you know, and it's okay to feel imperfect because we all are imperfect you know but it's like where where's the line and where do you check yourself for me to hyper focus on weight it's like discounting all of the amazing things i've done and and that's what i think that we do we hyper focus on our negative and we forget all the things that we've done and all the things we are to people and are to this world so Anyways, as I wrap up this episode, I just want to encourage people um, to, you know, really do the work like I always do. I always encourage you guys, you know, to do the work and do the soul searching and, and really find out who you are, really find out who your strengths are um, because they save you in, in moments where we kind of feel a little bit weak, you know, or insecure um, to kind of balance out that negative self-talk. So. Um, so anyways, I hope you guys like this episode and I will definitely be recording other personal episodes as I think of it, as it comes to me. Um, I was thinking maybe the next one would be, uh, you know, my, my struggle with black men and my struggle with men. Um, not even just as a boss, quote unquote, as people call me or a strong black woman, but 
just as a woman and just as a being so anyways i will see you guys or well i hope i get see you guys on business of soul um instagram and the business of soul searching on facebook but i really hope to hear from you guys make sure you email me let me know your soul searching stories um you know what's going on what 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 are you reflecting on what are you pushing through uh what are you preparing for 2020 2020 is around the corner so we need to get in position i'll talk to you guys soon Thank you for listening to another episode of the Business of Soul Searching. If you have any exciting soul searching stories, please email them to thebusinessofsoulsearching at gmail.com for a possible shout out in next week's episode. Most importantly, take a calculated risk this week. Don't do it for me, do it for you.